Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you got Wi-Fi issues on Windows 7. So this tutorial will apply for newer versions of the Windows operating system as well, but I just wanted to jump into it and offer you guys a few potential solutions. So the first thing I'd actually recommend would be to open up the Start menu and you want to type in Device Manager. You want to select the best match, which should say Device Manager here. Now you want to expand the network adapter section, either double clicking on it or left clicking on the little arrow next to it will expand it. So now in the menu items below, you want to locate your network connection here and you want to right click on it and left click on enable. Now if it currently has the option for disabled, that means it is currently enabled. So just don't disable it if it's currently enabled, but if it is disabled, there will be an option to enable it right here in this menu. So I'm going to select enable. It's basically what you want to do. So if you right click on it, now you can see it says disabled. That would mean we're going to be disabling it. We don't want to do that. So as you can see, we already enabled it. We have our network icon down here and it looks like we're good to go on that front. I would recommend if it looks like this, go ahead and try and open up a web browser and see if you can navigate over to some web pages you were having problems with before. Now, if that didn't work, I would recommend restarting your computer, try it again. And if that still doesn't work, you can go ahead, open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match under program should come back with CMD here. You want to right click on it, left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on yes. Now it says elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config. Exactly how it appears on my screen, so IP config space forward slash flush DNS. All one word, flush DNS is attached to that forward slash. Then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now that you've typed that in, you want to now type in NETSH space WinSock space reset. You want to hit enter again. Should say successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. I would recommend you guys do restart your computer at this time. See if that has resolved the issue. So I would hope that one of these methods worked for you guys. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope this tutorial was able to help you out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.